so our, our normal week it goes like um, lagoon monitoring for two days usually and then we have the turtle monitoring that we just started yeah. there's two ways to capture data for turtle there's the tagging where you put a tag on the flipper and it's quite invasive yeah. and it demands quite a lot of skill and handling yeah. which puts a lot of stress to the animal and we decided to go for the photo identification so what we do is to we take a picture, a profile picture, that is the left profile and right profile of the animal space, and we give a code to every scale on the um, on the face of the turtle. Okay. So based on its positioning, we have a a, a specific ID code for every turtle, yeah. and that's how we do the monitoring. So well, the hawksbill is a critically endangered animal. Yeah and the population has been dwindling over the past few years because the, the shell is quite sought after in the market. So learning that the Blue Bay Marine Park is an important foraging site for the animal is going to help to protect the animal itself. The coral farming is a really interesting project where we fragment the corals, we take the little pieces and we tie it to a structure we let them grow for two years, for one year to two years, depending on the coral species. And we aim at retransplanting them into the marine park. Because the marine park has been declining in terms of coral species. Yeah, yeah. So, this is reef restoration? restoration? It's basically, yes, it is reef restoration. What's the percentage that has already been lost? I can't put a number of it, but it's more than half. Really? Yeah. How long would it take usually for corals to grow? Uh, depending on the species and the conditions, um, take about a year okay. in total to get them to a size where they'll be able to be moved and um, grow. Into the marine park. So, so the idea is that, because um, at the moment, the marine park, there's a lot of death, there's a lot of corals dying in there. Mm -hmm. So the idea would be you bring the ones in, would they spread? Once mm. they're in there, is it? Yeah. How does that work? So, um, the small fragments, so they'll start about that big, yeah. um, that'll grow naturally um, in the way that corals do, depending on which species it is. So, if it's like the staghorn coral, it's the little tiny polyps will split and form a skeleton, and that just grows and branches out and so from one tiny little fragment you get um, a whole one of the structures. Okay. What does the lagoon monitoring um, involve as an intern? So basically we have different sites in, inside the lagoon and then we need to make sure uh, once in a month we visit every site to monitor the same uh, spot where and then we monitor the coral and the fish and then we uh, document what we see. Basically, we just see how healthy is the ecosystem is in the lagoon. Here already a few weeks. What yeah. has been some of your highlights so far? It's very cool because you just ride next to the beach and then the huge lagoon and the beach and the marine park. Mm -hmm. So the highlight would be, so first of all, I learned a lot about marine uh, while going out and monitoring because I'm not from this background, but yeah. now I have this experience or opportunity to learn yeah. and on the other side is uh, I really like ocean so yeah. with very easy access every time like even if I don't have any outing I can just go swim and snorkeling and get close to the sea yeah you know as an admin and finance intern helping out um, I'm also coordinating volunteers so when they come over okay. um, I'll be introducing them to everyone okay. around the area if possible okay. and if they have any concerns then they come to you yeah Great. so you're here for a few months then yeah three months okay and what's your impression so far it's really good actually I like working with Lagoon Blue mm -hmm. seem a great organization yeah um, caring to all interns, yep. volunteers, as yep. well as passionate about what the marine life they're trying to conserve. Yep. Yeah. And the area, good. Blue Bay, is it? What, what do you find about, uh, do, you, do you like, in fact you're quite close to the sea? Yeah, it's not? about two minute walk to the beach, yep. so it's yep. good. So when you're doing your monitoring, they have a site nearby, yep. so you can walk to it. If not, just hop on the boat. It's perfect location. Yep. <laughs>